one of the ways to know if God is speaking through an individual or through a church or through a spiritual community is their love for the word of God. In fact, in Hebrews 7.35, he says he, he lived to make intercession for us. So that every time the devil brings up a case against you before the council of heaven, look at it, he always lives to make intercession. Every time the devil brings up a case against you, Jesus presents his body. And God sees the blood, sees the marks and everything he, he did. And remembered how he suffered on the cross. So that you can escape. That's the reason why certain things have not killed you by now. So you see that intercession goes with a note of sacrifice. And when you talk about sacrifice, it's a word that this Gen, Gen Z, that's what they call us. We don't want to have anything to do with it. It's almost been isolated from Christianity now. And that is why, that is why, if this generation like this should face the great tribulation, very few will be saved. Because there is an aspect of your faith where it is written in scripture, point blank, that you will have to suffer certain things as a mark of approval of your sonship. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 2 that he, he made the captain of our salvation perfect through his sufferings. So if what authored our salvation was suffering, it means therefore that you cannot, and I'm not saying this, this is not bad news. This is just the news. That there is an aspect of your Christian experience where you will have to suffer. And let me even put it well so that somebody can understand. Where you have to suffer in silence. Because when Jesus was in the desert, he was alone. And notice that the Bible says it was God who pushed him there. The Spirit drove him to the wilderness. God submitted him to the devil to be tested. But the Bible says that after he has tried me, I will come forth as gold. 